Greetings, mathematicians. In this short video, you'll learn about Braining Camp Base 10 Blocks. Once logged in, click on the Base 10 Blocks manipulative. In the toolkit on the left, you'll find the Base 10 Blocks. Base 10 Blocks help students visualize our Base 10 number system and math concepts like number sense, place value, operations, and decimals. Base 10 blocks consist of units, rods, flats, and cubes. Inside the settings menu, you can change the collection of blocks you would like to work with by clicking on the largest value you would like available in your toolkit. From the settings menu, you can also choose whether you would like to work with whole numbers or decimals, or add labels that allow you to see the amount on the screen. Once you add blocks to the workspace, you can select them to reveal a menu of options. For example, break to show an animation of 100 turning into 10 tenths, or a rod showing that it really is made up of 10 ones. Make sure you explore the several different workspaces available. The Place Value workspace has a place value mat which allows for students to model place values and helps them grasp place value concepts. Students can visualize that when they move the rods to the one's place, the same animation happens showing there are 10 ones and one 10. The Factors workspace allows for the use of the area model for multiplication and division. Students can see the partial products related to the standard algorithm. Additionally, the comparing workspace allows students to compare numbers. The greater than, less than, or equal to sign is visible, but by selecting the map, the symbol can be hidden or the label can be turned off. Finally, don't forget to check out the toolkit and the settings menu for tools and settings that can be used with base 10 blocks in fun and interesting ways. Now you're ready to use Braining Camp base 10 blocks. If you want more practice with the general interface, we encourage you to watch the Getting Started with Braining Camp tutorial video. Remember, each manipulative has its own tutorial video with details specific to each. Let us know if you have any questions.